How did the idea for Fat International and Feminine come about? Like, wh what did you see? What did you? What did you and your founder see as the need to have such a product here in Saudi Arabia? See, when we started in '99, yeah. uh, uh, Iyad Mashad, the owner of, of Fat International, uh, the CEO of the, uh, and the founder of Feminine, he found out there's a gap between West and the Middle East in terms of fashion. The concept behind feminine, it's like a Western fashion with a touch of uh, like Middle East. What market are you aiming for? I know that you're targeting women between 18 and 14 years old, but which market are you looking for? Are you looking for only the Middle East region or are you looking internationally? Uh, we are looking for, uh, currently our penetration is on in Middle East markets, yeah. but we are looking for Europe and uh, other. We have opened, we have shortly like we have last year opened in Switzerland and we are doing good in Switzerland. That's so we are looking for uh, different uh, markets in Europe and we are simultaneously our current penetration, which is in Middle East markets. So, uh, altogether, we have, feminine have fifty five stores. We are in Bahrain, Syria, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Switzerland. We'll be soon coming in Dubai and other Middle East regions. We have customers like Asians, we have customer Arabs, we have customer Europeans, and we have customers from around the world. Of course, since you started in 1999, I'm guessing that you experienced the social media change through from the beginning till today. So how do you use that to market your brand? We, we got like actively involved in social media a couple of years now. Social media, like it, it has got hype since 2005-2006, but the actual real peak was happening in 2010-11. We, we have been doing well. We, uh, we, we promote our collections on social media. We have a feminine page for like Saudi Arabia on Facebook. And we, we are getting a tremendous response. Are you still invested in traditional marketing strategies? We do. We do, sir, to, to an extent, but we don't believe we actually don't believe in advertising brand. So you believe that the brand will speak for itself? Exactly, exactly. So, but uh, we, we think major source is our like, satisfied customer, yeah. that advertisement. Yeah. The who we satisfy the customers, that's, that's how we treat it as an advertisement. And how do you see the sector, the industry for female fashion in the Middle East and North Africa region? How do you see that region develop in the next few years? What do you foresee for that uh, industry in the next few years? It, it is very good, and it, it has. If you see the, the market in this MENA region, in terms of fashion, it's growing more than any other uh, region. It's always, if you see the ratios and in international uh, fashion reports, like fashion trends which goes, yeah. MENA region has the highest growth every year, year on year. So we are expecting 2012, 13, uh, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Is, is going to be a very positive for, uh, for, for these markets, MENA especially. What do you think needs to change for fashion-driven entrepreneurs in Saudi Arabia and in the Middle East in general? I'm talking about young people who want to start and go into fashion. Do you think that the industry is there and they just need to go and work? Or do you think that something needs to change to help them launch their yeah. brand? See, uh Industry is there. They they just have to explore. Yeah, it's like they need to be courageous enough for entrepreneurs. They have to be courageous enough, and they have to have a strong will to do it. There's a there's a lot of opportunity in the market which can be which are still unexplored. There's a still gap which can be filled by entrepreneurs. It's not only international brands who can dominate it, but yes. Okay. The, the uh, local brands also with a, a smart and good product. Will have definitely have a good impact on the market. And recently, I read about your involve your company's involvement with the Women's Appreciation Forum through that initiative, the Women's Appreciation Month. Correct me yeah. if I'm wrong, but I read that uh, you guys are sponsoring 30 female students. Yeah, we did. We did last year. Like, it's just not we don't want to appreciate it. We oh, we wanted to support the women, women empowerment basically. We wanted to support the students who wanted to be a fashion designer. We definitely will create a platform for all entrepreneurs or like creative people to give a chance so that they can bring out the best out of themselves. Thank you so much for your time and yeah. Thank you. Alright, thank you. Have a good day. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.